So let's look at the following diagram in which we're going to calculate the electric potential. Three point charges are placed on the corners of a square as shown in the following diagram. So we have point charge Q1 that has a charge equal to negative 10 microcoulombs, charge Q2 is equal to negative 20 microcoulombs, and charge Q3 has a quantity of charge equal to positive 60 microcoulombs. Now the length of the side of our square S is equal to 3 centimeters or equivalently 0 0.03 meters. So we want to calculate the electric potential, the voltage at point A, which is given to be the fourth corner of our square. So notice the distance between this charge and point A and this charge and point A is simply S. But the distance between point charge 1 and A is given by radical 2 multiplied by the length of the side. So how exactly are we going to go about calculating the voltage at point A as a result of these three point charges? So we essentially need to calculate the voltage at point A as a result of each individual charge and then to find a total charge we simply take the algebraic sum and that's because voltage is not a vector voltage is a scalar and that means to find a total voltage we simply take the algebraic sum of all the voltages so we begin by assuming that at a distance infinitely far away from these point charges the voltage is zero and that allows us to use the following equation. So this equation gives us the voltage, the electric potential near a stationary point charge, where R is the distance between that particular point charge and the point at which we're examining the voltage. So let's begin by calculating each individual voltage as a result of each individual charge. So V1 is the voltage at point A as a result of charge Q1. So we use this equation. So V1 is equal to the quantity of charge of point charge Q1 given in coulombs. So negative 10 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. We divide that by 4 pi multiplied by epsilon naught, which is 8.85 .8 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs squared divided by newtons multiplied by meters squared. And we multiply by 1 divided by the distance. So this distance is square root of 2 multiplied by S, which is 0 0.03 meters. Square root 2 multiplied by 0 0.03 meters. And that gives us about negative 2.1 times 10 to the 6 volts. Now we can find the voltage as a result of Q2 at point A in the same exact manner. We plug in our quantity of charge, which is negative. We plug in our distance, which is 0 0.03 meters, and we get negative 6 times 10 to the 6 volts. And finally, to calculate the voltage at point A as a result of, uh, as a result of charge Q3, we simply plug in the quantity of charge on that point charge, which is positive 60 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, divide that by 4 pi, multiplied by epsilon naught, multiplied by 1, divided by this distance, which is 0 0.03 meters, and we get about 1.8 times 10 to the 7 volts. So, to calculate the total voltage at point A, we simply take the algebraic sum of these three voltages. So V total is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3, and that gives us about positive 9.9 .9 times 10 to the 6 volts is the voltage, is the electric potential at point A as a result of these three stationary point charges.